Hello, welcome to this vlog. I am gonna jump right into it today. I need to do baby laundry. <laughs> I have piles of stuff that needs to be washed. I haven't washed anything for the baby yet. Not clothes, not blankets, sheets, anything like that. And I'm almost 37 weeks pregnant. Today, my chiropractor told me that if he was a betting man, he would think that baby is coming in the next 10 to 14 days. I said, what you're telling me is that I need to get my laundry done. So here we go. So I have all this stuff in here. Um, most of the clothes that we have are thrifted things. So I need to just go through, I need to cut off the tags. I need to organize everything into just piles that I can wash. Um, so like whites, lights, darks. I have um, some linens and baby blankets and stuff in here. I can hear how out of breath I am. Most of the clothes and things that need to be washed are in here. So I'm just gonna take everything. I'm gonna put it in one big pile in the living room. Oh my goodness, I am so out of breath. Um, and sort through it all and get this laundry going. <laughs> just cut off every single one of these tags look at that that took me like probably over half an hour to do and I have these piles now and I'm gonna wash each one separately and then I have all the linens and stuff over there that was quite a task can you believe all these clothes I can't I don't know where we're gonna put them <laughs> I know it's a lot. I didn't realize that. I mean, I knew we had a lot for him, but I don't think I realized quite the extent of it. First ever load of baby laundry. All right, I got that going, and I just want to show you this is the detergent that I'm trying out. Um, I've heard really good things about Molly's suds and I got the baby one so there's no fragrance at all to it um, so this is a good natural option if you well I don't know I haven't used it yet but <laughs> I've heard this is a good natural option if you're looking for something like that so this is several loads of laundry um, so it's definitely not all gonna get done today but I feel so relieved to have started it um for some reason this has been the thing in my head that is like weighing me down um and it sounds so silly because it's just it's laundry but i think because i know it's gonna be hard to do when he's here and he really could come at any point now all right i'm on the birth ball there's some backlighting but it's okay because I just wanted to kind of document how I'm feeling right now. Um, I gotta be honest, today I had a bit of a freak out when my chiropractor told me that he thought the baby would come early. It scared me a little because I feel like this entire pregnancy has just gone by so quickly. And I gotta say, I'm not feeling totally prepared. And I think doing this laundry, getting the nursery finished is a huge, part of me feeling prepared and like my little nest is ready to go. I have really enjoyed being pregnant and I almost feel a little bit sad that the whole experience is coming to a close. We do hope to have more babies in the future but he only experienced your first pregnancy once and it's just gone by quicker than I could have ever ever imagined. It seems like most people when they hit this point in pregnancy 37 weeks they're just like ready to give birth and to feel a little more um, not pregnant <laughs> but I have just been really blessed that I've had a really smooth pregnancy 
there's really not much that I can complain about. Even now, there are times when I just don't even feel all that pregnant. There are times when I do feel super pregnant and there are times when I'm uncomfortable, but I'm still really enjoying it. And then on top of that, feeling some birth nerves, um, wondering, am I ready for this? Will I ever be ready for this? No, probably not. Who is ever ready fully to give birth? I'm so excited to just hold him and to see what he looks like and to see Mark become a dad. I'm so excited for all those things, but I'm also feeling like I would be okay if time slowed down right now. Wow, I'm like burping as I'm talking. <laughs> I also feel like we're getting there. We're almost done with the nursery. Um, I'm doing this laundry. I'm gonna organize all of his things today and it's gonna be great. And I know that <laughs> I'm gonna get everything done that is really important and anything else doesn't even matter. So this first little laundry is done. I'm gonna switch it over. Um, if you can see, oh no, I guess you can't see, but I have the garden hose in there because I am planning to have a birth pool here when I give birth. I'm planning to do a home birth. So one of the things we needed to have on hand is a hose so that I could fill up my birth pool. So that's why that's in there. Yeah, I'm gonna switch over this laundry and put another load in. So making progress. Okay, go ahead. I want to get Mark's reaction to the books. <gasps> you like it? This looks amazing. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. I love the dino book. Baby, Isn't this is so, so cute. so cute? This is so stinking cute, and the colors all look so nice together. And of course, we got the baby book about rocks, front <laughs> and center. Uh -huh. Dinosaurs, rocks, animals, Toy Story. Got it this all. Is a plus, an island grows. That's cool. Where did we get that one? I got that one at Goodwill. Surprise! I have had my baby. So obviously, a lot of time has passed, but I really wanted to finish this video because I had fun making this one and I have it like all edited and everything. I just needed to do a little bit of an outro. So yeah, after the last clips that you saw, um, my in-laws actually came and visited and my mother-in-law helped me so much with organizing all the drawers, folding the clothes, doing the laundry, all the things. It was so nice to have the help and I figured now I would just kind of walk you through the drawers and how I have things set up um, on the dresser. And it's kind of nice because it's actually like how we've been using it for the past few weeks since I've had him so it might even be a little bit more helpful if, if you're looking for ideas for how you can set up your nursery and organize your things so that's what I'm gonna show you I have a very noisy little sleeper on me so if you hear his grunts he's just a very loud <laughs> little napper um, but yeah I do actually plan to do a full-on nursery tour video pretty soon I think that would be fun because I'm so happy with how the nursery turned out but I'm just gonna show you kind of the organization part of it right now. So here is the top of the dresser. This is the dresser that I completely refinished, um, added the legs on the bottom and spray painted the handles and everything, painted the whole dresser. I'm so happy with how it turned out. But yeah, over here we just have our cute little teddy bear. This is a gift from his grandma and grandpa. We have our change pad, which I have really liked this changing pad. This is the skip hop one 
I think. <laughs> and we put this down just so that it'd be a little more comfy for him when he's laying here. I have a passy here right now because he does get a little bit fussy when he's getting his diaper changed, so that's helpful. Um, the wipe warmer, honestly, I feel like it's something you could totally do without, but I did buy one, so we have it here. And then over here is uh the diaper caddy so have all kinds of stuff in here diapers obviously um more diapers over here these are um some breasts like cold or hot packs that i've just stored here for now and then this is his little like wub and up thing actually i don't think this is the wub and up brand but it goes on the passy we have a burp cloth some breast pads these in the first couple weeks of having him were so helpful these are chucks pads and um, I'll probably end up doing some kind of like baby newborn essentials video like things that I've found really helpful but this is something that I found super helpful I had a lot of these left over after the birth because I did have a home birth um, so these were really nice to have around for doing diaper changes just kind of wherever and if he peed or <laughs> anything then you know you could just throw it away super simple and then in here I have some diaper balm I have his little um boogie sucker thing which I actually haven't used I've just used the nose Frida and then we have the little bum spatula we have like I said the nose Frida and the saline I have a little teether here which he hasn't used but it's just kind of cute right there and then over here we have the hatch and we have some milk storage bags. I just store them here for right now. In the drawers, these are definitely like far from perfect, but up here I have some bibs, some socks, hats, um, little mittens and stuff. The second drawer, there isn't much of anything in here except this sleep sack. Um, these top drawers are kind of, uh, they're not very deep, they're pretty shallow, so it was harder to find like what I needed to put in these top drawers. But as they start to get deeper down here this is where I have all the clothes that he's wearing right now um, he can't fit into all of this right now but like this stuff this is all newborn this is newborn these are some sleepers these are just like onesies and a couple pairs of pants and then these are all zero to three months so he can fit into some of these which I've tried to keep more on this side the ones that he can fit sizing I found is super inconsistent so doesn't really matter what size it says you kind of have to just go off of you know how it fits your baby these are all onesies he's so loud and these are our pants and then I have a couple more like sleep gowns in the back right there I don't know if you can see the next drawer down I have more zero to three month sleepers and then I think they start to get into three to six months over here and then this bottom drawer I just have clothes that are big and these are clothes that he won't be in for a while um most of them i think are three to six months so i have a bunch of little pants here and some onesies a couple sleepers and stuff um and then some of these are like even bigger sizing so just as he grows i'm just going to kind of continue to go through each thing and see what he fits into and then moving over to the right side of the dresser over here i keep his washcloths and burp rags this is the drawer with just kind of all the little baby doodads so we have the nail trimmer passies i mean you can kind of see what's in here thermometer some diaper cream, all that stuff, probiotics, um, his little soap and lotion, and then these for taking his monthly pictures. This next drawer, I just have diapers and some wipes. I have a couple of cloth diapers in here, which we haven't tried yet, but eventually I would like to try out a few different brands of cloth diapers just to see how it goes. I'm not like fully committed to it, but I think it would be nice to save on some disposable diapers. Next drawer is just filled completely with diapers. These are actually size one diapers, so these do not fit him yet. And then lastly, this bottom drawer, I just keep a bunch of swaddles, little receiving blankets, and um, a towel. So that is his dresser. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish out this video. Um, like I said, or I can't remember if I said that I have just so many video ideas floating around in my head that I'd like to do pretty soon, but obviously still just adjusting to life with a newborn. I can't believe... <laughs> 
but I have a six week old now. Um, I know earlier in this video I was talking about how just unprepared I felt and I was having birth nerves and all the things and it's just amazing how everything just works itself out and these past six weeks with him have just been some of the best weeks of my entire life. It's been just the most special time and I'm so just so thankful for the exact time that he came into this world. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more like newborn mommy type content um, that will be coming very soon and I will see you later.